please take a moment to read this disclaimer. Welcome to Zen HVAC micro training video series. What you need to know, when you need to know it, in 10 minutes or less, guaranteed. Troubleshooting. Symptoms of incorrect airflow. First, who cares about airflow? We do. We care because all air handling equipment from residential furnaces to residential air handlers to package equipment to ginormous industrial air handlers. They all have one thing in common. They require the correct airflow to function properly. Incorrect airflow can cause space temperature control issues, refrigerant circuit issues, condensate problems, failed heat exchangers, poor humidity control, duct noise, and worst of all, angry customer syndrome. Let's take a look at each one, all except for the whole angry customer thing. We're going to save that for a future customer relations training video. As a diagnostic technician, you need to be familiar with the symptoms of certain problems. In this case, it's going to be airflow. First, low airflow. Cooling symptoms of low airflow. High evaporator temperature drop over 18 degrees. High subcooling on TXV equipped units. Low superheat. And low to normal head pressure. Condensate symptoms. Ice and frost on evaporator coils. And cabinet sweating. Space comfort symptoms. Doesn't maintain set point. Cold air dropping from diffusers, not enough velocity. Excessive stratification and heating, the hot air rising up to where the people aren't. Heating side symptoms, high limit trips. High discharge air temperature. Cracked heat exchangers. Symptoms of high air flow. Cooling symptoms. Low evaporator temperature drop under 10 degrees, high to normal head pressure, high superheat, heating symptoms, low flue gas temperature, moisture in the flue gas, heat exchanger corrosion, low discharge air temperature, space comfort symptoms, Poor humidity control and cooling. Excessive air noise in the ductwork. What do you do if you suspect you do have an airflow issue? Simple. You confirm the airflow is within the manufacturer's specifications using the manufacturer's product information. But how? How do you know what the airflow is? Simple! Check out our videos on our website or on YouTube or Facebook. We have a video that tells you how to calculate airflow for rooftop units and air handlers. Points to remember, correct airflow is critical for equipment performance and longevity. Incorrect airflow negatively affects space temperature and humidity control. Refer to the manufacturer for correct airflow. And last but not least, you do not need special tools to check airflow as long as you use our videos. Let us know what you think. Let us know how we can improve and let us know what topic you'd like to see next. Thank you. Thank you for watching.